Hello and welcome back to another episode of Smart Tips. My name is Gavin Brennan. I'm a product specialist here at SmartSuite. And today we're gonna to be talking about how you could create an interactions table within your SmartSuite workspace that can track your texts, emails, and meetings that are relevant to your contacts. Let's get into it. So for this example, we're gonna build it off of the sales CRM template. If you wanna download this exact template, you can just go to add new solution or the template gallery, and then search up sales CRM, and then it'll be this option right here, and you just click use template. So I'm starting just from this out of the box sales CRM right here, and the idea is we're gonna go and create a new table that's going to log all of our interactions, either manually or automatically, and then those interactions are going to link back to contacts and opportunities so that we can track all communications that we have outside of SmartSuite. So let's get started. Let's add that new table. We're going to go and create this from scratch and we're going to call it interactions. So I went ahead and deleted all of these fields because we're going to start really from scratch. And then we're going to go and add a single select field. Now this is going to be our type of communication, right? So we can organize it by emails, calls, meetings, etc. So we can put email, meeting, and we'll just keep it for those two for now to keep it simple. And then we're gonna to wanna to add a linked record to the contacts table. So we're gonna go and add a linked record. We're gonna select contacts and then we're just gonna add that field. So now we have a type of communication, a link to the contact. Um, let's now go and add an assign to field that can say the activity owner. So this will be who owns that activity, who is the one that was going out and actually using it. And then finally, we can have a smart docs field that can be the content. So this can either be a summary of the meeting or the contents of an email. Okay, so this is a really oversimplified version. If you wanna have more data in your interactions table, you just continue to add fields. For now, we're just gonna keep it like this. And then we're also gonna to want to display the first created field. Now this field already exists within your table. You just have to display it by clicking fields to display. And then finally, let's go and modify the field settings of the title to make it auto-generated so that we can say, this is link to contact, space, dash, type of communication, and then the first created date. So now the title is always going to say, who was the contact that we're talking with? What was the type of communication? And when did it happen? And then finally, we'll also sort this by first created so that everything is organized by the order that it happened. So now there's two different ways we can put data in here. We can either do it manually or via automation. Um, you could either just actually add these via the grid view. So we'll go and create a new record. We'll say this was an email. Um, this was with Justin Dreyer. I'm the activity owner. And then the content was, hi, Justin, this is a test. And I could just paste the contents of the email here. And then just like that, we're going to now have this record, just dryer email on April 11th, 2025. And then as more things come in here, this will be linked back to Justin's contact and so on and so forth. So if we wanna start automating these interactions, there's a couple different ways that we can go about it. The first way is whenever we have any automations that send an email inside of our smart suite workspace, we can add an additional action that goes and creates one of these records. So what does that look like? Imagine you had an automation that says when a record matches a condition inside of opportunities and the stage is closed one, then we want to go and send an email. So we have our email here and you just send it to that email and so on and so forth. And then you just add an additional action that says, okay, well, we want to go and create a record in the interactions table in our sales CRM. And we want the activity owner to be the owner of the record. And we want the content to be the content that's in the email, right? And you just fill that in here if it's already um, an email that's right there. And then you could also say that you want the link to contacts to be the contact that actually closed from the trigger and so on and so forth. And then that way, whenever you send an email anywhere in your system, you're also creating a log of that here in the interactions table. 
Now, the most efficient way to do this is to use some sort of third-party integration software, whether that be Make, Zapier, or Ply. So you have two-way communication. So whenever you receive or send out an email, one of these records gets created. So there's ways you can automate this in SmartSuite with your own SmartSuite automations. And then if you want to take this a step further, you can always use a third-party integration software to really fill this out with meetings, emails, and so on and so forth. So this is a really simple episode. If you do have any questions about the automation side or setting this up, feel free to leave those down in the comments. And until next week, keep on enjoying SmartSuite.